And I love how beautifully things are connected. Um, Katia Orab is our next amazing woman, completely different sector, completely different. Because uh, as you can already see by the photo of her here, she does something with her pencil and a hand. So she's making drawings. And um, when, remember when Marilyn came in, I had this I, ha uh, I Love Your Smile song, and then she had the, two, uh, the, 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 the toothpaste exactly that you can chew. Uh, then we had um, uh, another thing that introduced us to Inger. Then Inger was wearing... Um, Inger, darling, can you just come here for a second? I'll show you. Uh, how, I'm just going to show how it's uh, linked. Um, Inger has stars on her uh, lo uh, long blouse. And um, uh, Kati has also stars in here, you know. Uh, it's, it's made out of the star. And she can also teach how to make... Um, like a, it's like how it's all connected and that's why for example you see the lunch picture was drawing I could have chosen another picture but I wanted your brain subconsciously to be already prepared to what's coming next okay so life has those silver linings but we need to keep our like they say antennas up right around to see all that mm -hmm. now everybody Everybody got the welcome, uh, applause. Kati should have one too. <laughs> no need, Kati, with an with amazing... Uh, be your own hero stroke by stroke. I'm more curious to get to know her better because it's the first time I also see her. Like Inger I knew, Marilyn, I also, first time I saw her. And now it's another first time. So, are you ready? Yes. Yes. And thank you. I'm very honored to be here. That's amazing. You see? You, the, and, and you know, she, when she said it, she really meant it. Because you can see in their eyes. And when she came, you know, she was like, I'm ready. I'm, maybe I'm going to skip a lunch or not, but I, I want to be fully here, like you are. So, I am ready to pop the first question. Where is the... Oh, here it is. Um, with all of the other guests as well. First, we go to the childhood. Just a little bit to uh, scratch the surface. Do you remember activities and things that brought you the most joy when you were a child? Yes, I do remember. I could say that drawing was one of the things that made me happy, even though I got the worst marks in school in drawing <laughs> but as a child uh, I really loved drawing every time it started to rain outside mm -hmm. I took my crayons and paper and I used drawing for dreaming actually mm -hmm. so I can't say that it was for me some kind of uh, like making a nice drawing or, or beautiful pictures but I used it as expressing myself mm -hmm. and and for for dreaming but I also loved um, uh, making plays with uh, puppies, okay. hand puppies. Uh, I, I'm uh, very fortunate that I have um, my, uh, my I have older sister, okay. and I have a younger sister and a younger brother who are twins, and they are four years older, uh, younger than me. And I love to play with them. That I was a teacher, and they were in my in my school. <laughs> and I also loved uh, playing. Um, playing uh, my library mm. I, and it was something that I did alone because <laughs> I love to do those uh, papers that uh, uh, you don't remember it probably but yeah, we don't. used to have in library not digital things mm -hmm. but all was like with paper and catalogs and mm -hmm. stuff and I loved this like a uh, secretary work yeah. going through the papers yeah, it's kind of uh, it's funny if I think about things that that I have, what I have done in my uh, uh, adult life uh -huh. now, uh -huh. that I have done, I've been a secretary and, and I'm drawing now. And also what most made me happy was actually sports. Mm. But we're going to get there, I think. Okay, yeah. we're going to get there. Very yeah. good. So, you, I mean, there's the first, out of the uh, first two speakers, and right now you see the like immediate connection. You see, we're all so different. She loved drawing and what she does right now it's uh, making with making business with, 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 by drawing. Even if I wouldn't, never thought that it yeah. will come this way because when I was 
29, I still thought that I can't draw. Mm -hmm. So it's, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's like, think again. <laughs> okay, that was a great, great start. Um, who were your role models when you were young? That's a good question because I've been thinking about it um, even before I got this question uh -huh. that I know that you will ask here. I don't recall myself having heroes or role models when I was uh, even in my teens. That of course I loved some uh, bands like then was like Backstreet Boys mm -hmm. and uh, New Kids on the Block and probably you don't know but <laughs> but uh, I don't know even what to say what they are at the moment uh, that they can relate but there was uh, Spice Girls playing I I there heard, was, like, yeah. I tell you what I want but I really really want so <laughs> I loved I loved those, but they won't. They weren't my role models. So, but from yeah. your family circle, were there anybody from there? Well, I would love to say that mm -hmm. my my mother or my mm -hmm. my sister, but I don't recall okay. feeling very strongly like this. Maybe my grandmother, who had who was had very entrepreneurial mind, okay. and I didn't understand exactly at this age. But now I know that she started to grow tomatoes and cucumbers mm -hmm. and sold them just to the village people. Mm -hmm. Also the grapes. Uh, they had a huge, um, uh, what is this, uh, greenhouse, mm -hmm. huge greenhouses. There were grapes and they sold and also uh, she was running a shop. So I guess somehow I, I could say that I loved my, my grandmother's uh -huh. side of this. Uh, but what I love to say is that I wanted to become my own hero. Mm. I think that this is also that, you yeah, know, yeah, you know, yeah, I, I see that. this link at, at yeah. first time at the moment, I see this link mm. now, but I, I wanted mm. to become my own hero. That's amazing. So you see, all of you can become your own heroes as well. And just, you see how many already different angles you're going to see here at the three talks already. Thank you being your own hero. I think it's very good. Um, what did you do or where did you go uh, when, you, when you felt stressed? You kind of like answered that already when you were a child. What yeah, did you do? probably I used mm -hmm. drawing, but it's another funny thing that I don't recall myself feeling stressed much. I mean... Um, or unhappy. Uh, yeah, or unhappy because uh, mm -hmm. I was... Uh, I did sports a lot. I was a very good sports girl. I remember winning my first running prize when I was five years old. Mm. I started to love it and I did folk dance. And I went to folk dance also, I think, when I was five years old. So those two loves. And I think if you're into sports a mm -hmm. lot, then it already is this reveal of stress. Okay. I know you're going to ask it later, but I can say that at the moment as well, sport uh, running is my biggest... Uh, uh, escape from uh, feeling anxious, I could say. Um, and I, I love to read. I think mm. that uh, it was also my way to escape my, my mm. own world, uh, world, to read a lot. Mm -hmm. Even if it may seem now that I was like kind of introvert, but actually I was a very, very outgoing and extrovert girl. Mm -hmm. I loved also uh, hanging out with my friends. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I didn't have so much time for it. I, I loved mm. what I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. I yeah. have more techniques nowadays for, for, for dealing with okay, uh, some Okay, so anxious. we're going to get there. <laughs> well, well, actually, no. Why don't you answer that now? How do you deal with the stress today? Yes. Uh, today, of course, I, I try to deal with uh, thinking, is it stressful thing and is it anxious or, or mm. why I feel it? Where did it come from? Is it uh, some feedback I got, some mm -hmm. things I did or, or maybe it's tied with other, other people and actually it's not tied with me at all. So I try to learn to separate myself with other people's mm -hmm. opinions mm -hmm. because it's there. Actually, whatever other people are saying, it's coming because of them not because of us. And, um, but I use um, uh, kind of meditations mm -hmm. and um, uh, every morning I wake up, uh, at the moment it's 5.30, mm -hmm. but it's not, I, I don't do it like I must. But you just yeah, get up. Just how, I, just, how yeah. I feel. And yeah. there are, there are um, let's say, uh, um, 
times when I sleep till seven because my kids wake up at seven. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, uh, I love it to wake up earlier and then I put my head headphones on and I listen one. Um, it's a six face meditation by okay. Vishen Lakhiani. Uh, Vishen Lakhiani has yes. uh, founded Mind Valley. Mind Valley yeah. yeah. And then I listen to this because it gives this all this being thankful mm. and and uh, center yourself uh, for the day and also mm -hmm. dreaming about future that what kind of uh, li uh, life I want more. So I, I think it helps very good and uh, and also time to time I use Silva method. Yes, It's also one of this kind of uh, centering yourself and uh, and connecting with um, with your uh, more creative part in brain. Mm -hmm. They they say it like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. And this is what it is. Uh, like uh, you saw from this example, she knew that the question was coming later. I could have stick to it and asked it later, but it was already bubbling right now. So you know, don't be afraid to make the changes if you if it feels like the environment uh, is open to it. Thank you. Um, how about we ask one more question from your childhood? Uh, what kind of a person when were you when you were a teenager, like their age? I actually have a little bit hard time to answer that because there has been two two uh, side of me. Mm -hmm. The one side uh, that you heard that I was, I did a lot of sports and I was very outgoing. Uh, uh, I, I think I was very active as well and um, very brave, okay. let's say, and I had a lot of courage, I think. There's one story that when our folk dance teacher needed uh, more, uh, more dancers in the group and, and she just said, can you ask few friends to come to see what is folk dance and maybe they will like it and and I uh, uh, how, how is this word agitated like yes. yeah, yeah I agitated all my class to come to this uh, <laughs> to see this class and then I remember the the face of the te uh, teacher yeah. she was like what all 30 <laughs> it's like <laughs> and and that's that was me that yeah. i had i was this kind of like a very good leader actually okay. and and i uh, i don't uh, recall myself having trouble with uh, learning so i i was quite um, mm -hmm. I was quite good in everything beside drawing. <laughs> okay, beside I, I should drawing. say beside what you are doing right now. Yeah, and I think I had strong goals and I had strong will, mm -hmm. and but then something happened, uh, and and we, we're not going to talk about it no. today a lot. Yes. but um, I got uh, addicted by uh, food, so I was a uh, one year I was anorectic, and then ten long years I was bulimic. Mm -hmm. And I kind of uh, lost loving my. I kind of lost loving myself. Uh, I everything I did was just to look, just to be thin. Mm -hmm. And um, I I don't remember having uh, big dreams anymore mm -hmm. or acting towards some goals. And all uh, the one good thing I had was friends. Mm -hmm. I really had great friends. We had very great time. Of course, we had a lot of parties and stuff, mm -hmm. but. But uh, they were there for me, even if I wasn't actually a good friend, because I didn't tell them. Mm -hmm. No one knew. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. I bet they knew, actually, uh, because no. they saw visibly, didn't no, they? No, no. Really? The people who have it are very uh, okay. good to hide it. And every time, I, I don't talk about it much, but every time I talk, I always say that if there is someone who's mm -hmm. listening and, and thinking that I may uh, fall in this trap, then find help mm -hmm. as soon as you can because mm -hmm. you will lose so much from your time that you could use to to be better and uh, it's it's a huge problem i think yeah. we should talk about it yeah. more yeah but uh, but also if you fall in this trap it's not your fault because mm -hmm. your brain changes and that's why you kind of uh, i always say i was a different person what was your age so, when you fell in that trap yeah it was between um, uh, 16 till 26. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just want you to, all of you, to grasp right now the intimacy of this, what she just said, and how important it is. 
we don't know people at all and we don't have the right to judge the book by its cover because we all go through millions of things and we all have this um, backpack of worries of traumas of um, of uh, sorrows and uh, losses that we have actually no idea about what the other person is having you know so um, and this is why I honestly I, I truly appreciate that kind of honesty in front of these ladies which I do hope has already you know give, uh, given kick to some of them who needed it and um, I hope you you truly appreciate the value of this human connection that you're getting here thank yeah, you because even if I think that it's uh, behind me I've been uh, totally clean of this attraction uh, till now that mm -hmm. when I'm 40 now and uh, I, I got it was very how I got the uh, uh, how I say, recovered, mm -hmm. it was like just one, from one day because I met a person in my life, I'm married with him now 14 years mm -hmm. and since I met him, everything, like I just maybe needed some, some kind of love even if I had a fantastic childhood, teenage yeah, yeah. years, perfect family mm -hmm. but it's, it's just my nature I mm -hmm. think that, that longed to have this kind of love as well and, and uh, but still, if I talk about it, uh, at the moment, my heart was like, oh. I, I could sense that, honestly. I could really <laughs> I could, sense that up I could here. speak in front of the mm -hmm. 10,000 people about visual facilitation, but this one is still very hard to share, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, uh, to, to go on with a, with a brighter, yes, then yes. it's, I covered, I got out of it, mm -hmm. and I could say that today I'm again this girl that I was when I was... Uh, in, in uh, seventh, eighth, ninth, mm -hmm. tenth grade. So I'm very happy that I found myself again and uh, found my strengths and, and mm -hmm. power and will mm -hmm. and yeah. And you can see from the eyes and that is important. We might, we all get lost at some point in our lives, many times. But the most important thing is that we bounce back, you know, uh, whatever measures it might take, but we need to bounce back because we are born here for a reason we are here for a reason, otherwise we wouldn't be here and we have to make the best out of it. Yes, like it, it can be really daunting and really dark times for a longer or shorter period, but we need to come out. And again, finding the right person or people to talk to is truly, truly highly valuable uh, thing to do for yourself. And um, why this topic is anyway, uh, in all the spheres, this uh, mind, not only mindfulness, but this um, uh, psychological issues are right now, today, nowadays, after two years of uh, we all know what, um, have impacted our brains and our psychology so much that these topics are extremely necessary to bring in um, to whatever the reason or the timing seems right. So thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I made the space. Yeah, intentionally. Now we're ready to continue with um, you as an entrepreneur. <laughs> Me. Happy bubbly lady. Um, what is your intention and purpose as an entrepreneur? Uh, I think it's a tricky question because I could say that as an entrepreneur, my main intention is to be free, you know, to, to be my own boss, mm -hmm. to be like honest. You. Yeah. Uh, but in life generally, I think that this purpose is to serve the world, mm -hmm. to, to uh, give all my, my uh, powers, mm -hmm. uh, superpowers, uh, knowledge, skills, uh, to make this world a better place. Mm -hmm. And of course, I could do it as an employee. You could. So that's why this is a tricky question, mm -hmm. that everything we do, we can serve our, our values uh, as an employee. But, but actually for me, it's also, it's life just uh, throw me mm -hmm. in, into this uh, business part and uh, entrepreneurship. I actually didn't have any plan to, to start mm -hmm. with, to be an entrepreneur. But it just, life just happened. And uh, now I just love it. So I... Yeah, uh, so I had a hard time to consider if I want to 
get some people to work for me because then maybe it's getting larger and then I maybe lose my freedom. Mm -hmm. But I've been working with this idea as well and I, I think it's opposite. So, okay. yeah. Because right now you're working with your husband and you have a, she has a brand new assistant. Yes, Day that's a, this year's a huge decision that you take an assistant. Assistant? Mm -hmm. assistant? Assistant? Assistant. Yes. And, um, and she's a young girl uh, who's uh, been, when I did youth work, mm. she was my uh, kind of like my youngster, young, among my youngsters. Uh -huh. And, and uh, she, I've seen her grow, growing up and, uh, and she's been in my trainings, done my things. And, and when she uh, learned to be a virtual assistant, okay. then I just saw that, okay, now this is like a universal calling that, that you need an assistant because you need her. Yeah. And, and we're already doing big things. I, I have no clue yet how I pay her, mm -hmm. but as people say who, who take this assistance that, that maybe first year your assistance is uh, earning more than you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then you take off and, uh, mm -hmm. and, it's, and you will have maybe more, uh, more people uh, working for you one day or not working for me, working uh, for this uh, vision yeah. that I want to carry the common to goal. The world. Yes, the common, common goal. goal. Yeah, very good. Yeah, and uh, just uh, just as a side um, side note, uh, for example, you know, back years ago, I mean, I'm 38, you're 40. Um, when you go to school uh, and you go to university, you need to know what kind of a field you want to be in, right? <laughs> Either you want to be a whoever, but there's a certain field nowadays. I mean, it has anyway changed. I mean, she, if she went to the uh, university, I don't think she had in mind that she's going to be doing that for business, you know. She had a profession probably maybe in mind, some, because, because that, at that time you had to have a choice, you know. Mm -hmm. A doctor, a lawyer, uh, like visual storyteller, nah, that wasn't even an option, right? Yeah. But now it is, because she created it. Perfect. Um, the, well, that's uh, the next question is perfect. What is your educational background? Uh, I've uh, been in a very regular primary school, mm -hmm. uh, but as I did very good, I was a very good sports girl. I was many times first in Estonia. Mm -hmm. if, if Estonians know Kümme uh, Olympiastarti, yes, then I've been second there in the like this big uh, uh, competition in summer. And many, many times, uh, first in Estonia in running and things. So I went to sports school in Tallinn. It's, uh, uh, today it's Audentes, mm -hmm. but then it was uh, Estonian sports gymnasium. So I, I did sports uh, there. And after that, I wanted to become an actress, actually. Actress? Uh, actress. Okay. But they didn't take uh, to, uh, to theatre school at this year when I graduated. Mm. And then I went uh, to my home school. Uh, where, I, where, I, where, I, where I lived and where I finished primary school and um, I started to be a teacher <laughs> like, the, the, like the, high school teach, uh, the high school students uh, the age that you have now and actually I was only one or two years older than they were so I gave uh, mathematics, English, uh, every kind of like when teacher was missing then I went to give it like a substitute teacher and then they offered me to be a teacher for a, two, uh, for a second grade, okay. like a real teacher, because, you know, in the first, second and third grade, the teacher is always there, mm -hmm. like giving a lot of subjects. So because the, the teacher uh, was, was pregnant and went mm -hmm. home, and then I had uh, six months, when I was 18 years old, and I had six months second grade students, and they started to love it. Mm -hmm. but, I, uh, but as coming from... A, family of teachers, educators, I still had this feeling, I'm never going to be a teacher. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I, I thought I will be this rebel one and I will never be a teacher. And then I thought, okay, I actually love this teaching thing and comes out. I love being with youngsters. And then I discovered youth work. Mm -hmm. Though I still didn't go any education part, but I went to study youth work. So I'm, uh, by uh, education, I'm a youth worker, okay. uh, like by baccalaureate degree. But now, just last uh, spring, I finished also Tartu University here. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I have some uh, <laughs> co-finishers uh, uh, from the same chapter, so it's educational innovation. Okay. 
And actually, I had no plan. I didn't go for a magister degree. That wasn't my goal. Mm -hmm. But I so much wanted to uh, uh, research my subject, okay. my vision, my mission, into deeper knowledge, how it goes into education and how I could apply it in teaching and studying this, this drawing. Because maybe what you may question here, what I actually do is mm -hmm. I teach drawing as a thinking tool. Mm -hmm. So I basically teach this technique, visual facilitation. Let's see. So it's, uh, uh, we can fast say that if you use, if you want to use calculation, you use mathematical mm -hmm. numbers. If you want to write something, you write letters. But if you want to think about something or to see a big overview, you should use the third language and the language is shapes and symbols mm -hmm. with uh, keywords and so short sentences as well. Mm -hmm. So it's and and I wanted to research about it, uh, and then, uh, I didn't find any places that how I could do it. Mm -hmm. And then I decided uh, discovered this uh, educational innovation, mm -hmm. and I still laugh that my innovation is coming from Stone Age because we remember our ancestors doing this uh, cave drawings. Exactly, cave know. drawings. Yeah. Yes. So it's it's actually it shows that it's in us. Mm -hmm. Drawing mm -hmm. is a part of being a human, mm -hmm. so it's, uh, yeah. That is true. But yeah. is this, um, as you were, as I opened it up, I mean, is, um, I couldn't, uh, is there anything we can say, tell, show them uh, that will show clearly what you do? Maybe these materials there? Uh, hold it. Up. Oh, my neck is gonna... <laughs> <laughs> There we yeah, go. I've, uh, I've been a co-author of one book. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, you can go to my website, uh -huh. download for free and read and do it. But here you can also see Visuals. this kind of visual maps. And this is like for goal setting for a year or a month. Yes. Uh, some models and also... I'll, I'll just for open it, this yeah. one, for example. This is... Um, this is just uh, one model that I thought I would like to put into the visual uh -huh. so we could understand it better. Okay. So it's... Uh, okay. But it gives a good overview because you can see all these shapes and symbols. Symbols uh, that you use, yeah. right? Or, for yeah. example, practices of gratitude, for yeah. example. Yeah. So this is also, you can... Uh, let's say that uh, your teacher is talking about practices of uh, gratitude. Mm -hmm. And while you are listening her, you are not just writing it all down like mm -hmm. this, but you are creating a visual like mm -hmm. this. And this is the third language now, how to do it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, like I say, we, it's, uh, you can learn it as you learned ABC and one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is true. And uh, she will, uh, Kati also uh, shows during her classes or trainings, how you can, uh, for example, draw all those things. I mean, how to draw easily a bicycle, how to draw, you know, the symbols. So she can really, she, she's just, she's using it and she would teach you as well. For example, today, when you were scribbling down what the uh, speakers are saying, instead, you could also be drawing down, yeah. you know? Yeah. You get the idea? Give you, you, please note if, I, uh, if, if you do get the idea. <laughs> Okay, you do get yeah, the idea. Because, very good. Uh, yes. Sometimes people are saying I know. Uh, in my trainings that what is uh, you are very easy to do it in front of us because you probably have some artistic background. Uh -huh, but uh -huh. as I've said many times that it was my weakest thing in school. I thought I can't draw. I, I remember in seventh grade I wanted to become an architect mm -hmm. because I started drawing these uh, uh, house plans and room plans. And it was my way of dreaming about my own room, having a Two, two uh, uh, sisters and a brother, we lived in a, in a one uh, children room and I dreamed about my own room so I started to dream again with this kind of drawings and I also like say that they are connected, yeah. these house plan drawings and this kind of drawing, mm -hmm. they are kind of connected. But then I went to my teacher and I said, I want to become an architect uh, in the seventh grade uh, and she said, Kati, you have to do a hell of a lot of work uh -huh. to get into the art school. And if you say a teenager, even now if someone is telling you you have uh -huh. to do a hell of a lot of work, would you go for it? <laughs> I went to the stadium and ran because that was what I was good, good at. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, but I still will say that I am not, I can't draw as an artistic person. I'm not I, in, a, in this common understanding about drawing, but I can draw as a thinking tool and I'm uh, 
it is my superpower now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Superpower woman. Um, do you, uh, by doing this, I mean, you're obviously, if a, if a teacher, if a doctor, if a lawyer asks you, Kati, what do you do? And you say, I'm a, literally your visual storyteller, or you, you, you can do that. So uh, regarding that, what are your fears and how do you take on the criticism? Uh, I don't think I have fears because um, uh, also this, uh, this one of my values I live is courage. That everything I've done in my life, I've, what, where I've succeeded, yeah. I've done like, uh, let's say, jumping over my shadow. Mm-hmm. I've always like doing something that I think that I can't do yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's, uh, um, I think, yeah, I don't have fears. Mm-hmm. I think, and, uh, uh, and about criticism, uh, I think I've learned to take it as a constructive feedback. Mm-hmm. So, and, and also if I'm learning this separating myself from others, yeah. like, like this criticism is actually tells more about this person who's saying this criticism mm-hmm. th- than about me. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, yeah, I, I think I'm a very positive person mm-hmm. in this way that, that mm, yeah, fear or criticism, they are not in my world. I take them in a different way. Very good. Yeah. But this is correct. Like she said, uh, criticism, it tells a lot about the person who is talking to you or who's criticizing. Very, listen very carefully and always how people are talking to you, what they are doing, how they are setting an example. Are they role models to you? Would you listen to them in other circumstances in life? If not, let them have their opinion and please move on. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. Um, Let's see, because I'm, uh, I'm making round c- circles because she, you know, by that, she's answering all the <laughs> other questions as well. So I'm just finding the right one. Oh, um, Nii, what is the, uh, uh, what do you, would you say, when is the best time to start your own business? Because like you said, you were not an entrepreneur first. So is there, uh, let's say, is there a, is there a deadline or mm. you can start at any time? My father was uh, 50 when he started his company. No, voila! So, uh, and I know uh, youngsters who are 16 mm-hmm. or 15 and starting something. So, I think the best time is to start now, if you want to be mm-hmm. an entrepreneur. Yes. If you have an idea, or if you have this, um, let's say that my business grew up some, the belief that yeah. this, the mission in my, in my heart, I started to carry that, Every person in the world should know that they can draw as a thinking tool. Mm-hmm. This is our basic right to do. Mm-hmm. And this is what drives me. Mm-hmm. And that's why I'm in this business now. Uh, but I, I think we don't all need to be you know, entrepreneurs. No. The most important thing is to have entrepreneurial mind, mm-hmm. mindset that mm-hmm. whatever happens to you in life, you always get on. You always know that you will get another idea or you can get another job. Um, yeah, but best time is to start now. That is true. <laughs> and with that, I do, have, uh, I do agree and I love, there was one woman, I don't remember who it was, who she was, but she quoted, uh, she also said that start now, start with your voice trembling, with your knees shaking, with your fears and doubts, you know, taking your, your body over, but start. Because the fears that you create, like Inga said, like you have mentioned in your way, that anyway, the fears are bigger in your head than they are in reality. And when it's time to face it, you will face it. That's, that's, that's the most important thing. It is, you need to start, always. And uh, the entrepreneurial mindset, um, believe me, even if you will be working for someone in, in the company, if you take this as your own business, I've been working in Pärnu Hospital as a marketing person for nine years. And I remember I took it as my own business because then you care more, you dedicate yourself more, you don't drop the pencil when the time, you know, time is out. It's very, very, exactly. It's very important uh, because it makes your life, quality of life also better. If you don't drag yourself to work and count the hours and drag yourself home. So, yeah, because yeah. there can be, like uh, uh, Richard Branson says that uh, if uh, he was asked uh, how he can have so many companies, mm-hmm. so many things going on, 
And he said that if I get an idea, I find people who start to do it for yeah. me. So I, you don't need to do everything yourself. Also, no. like being an employee is a good, good thing yes. to start maybe because uh, when I started uh, being a secretary, youth worker, yeah. I learned so much that I uh, had a chance to use later when I started my own businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, very good, very good. Well, we have covered quite a lot and I'm more than sure, again, that we have more than three questions from the audience. How do you, th how do you feel, girls? Yes. Okay, I saw you nodding and I, yes. Um, the, 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 the microphone will be... We don't know where's the microphone. Huh? <laughs> and what I wa also want to say that... Yes, please. Um, one of my things I'm so proud of lately is that I finally created my own notebooks. Sadly, they are only in Estonian, but good news is that there is not much written. But here you can also uh, learn how to do this fast drawing. And it's all inside here, it's of course empty. Uh, and if uh, you ask a question, doesn't matter if you're not Estonian, if you're Latvian, then uh, you can use Google Translate later and just translate these things. I was five uh, months in, Sp uh, in Spain uh -huh. speaking no sp Spanish and I managed to put my boys in local school and do all this paperwork <laughs> just using uh, Google Translator. So you can manage to use it as well. And we have two, uh, two notebooks and uh, the best, who has the best questions mm -hmm. will have this uh, one, one for each. Yes. Yeah. So and you can the, learn also how to the draw. The saying is here is like, I'm my, I am my own hero. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is one, something that goes through my life as well. Exactly. And this one says, I'm enough. Because this is something that you should do every day, every morning to the mirror, saying yourself, I'm enough. Because everything we do, we are enough. Yes. <laughs> so, let the questions begin. Um, what has been the biggest benefit you have uh, got from like drawing instead of like just writing these things down? Like, what has been the biggest? Yeah, thank you. That's a very good question because I think this is the main idea why we should use it. It's because um, uh, when we only use words, we actually can't see behind this idea or these connections. And uh, we can't get our um, creativity to work for us so well. But if we draw, then we uh, take our brain to work much larger way. We get creativity in, we start to see solutions. And the main thing that if you do this kind of roadmaps for yourself, then you start acting mm -hmm. than just reading words. So it's, I, I could say also, yeah, it, it uh, brings us more to action. Um, um. What is um, uh, what are some of your favorite quotes? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> some of those I have said already, and uh, I don't know even who said those. Mm -hmm. uh, they are just going uh, through my life with me. Uh, but there is a quote no famous person have said so, but it was a one man from Germany who said, "We are always told that live every day." like it would be your last day mm -hmm. of your life. You know that, yeah. Mm -hmm. But maybe if we could turn it around and we should start living our day like it's the first day of our life. Mm -hmm. What you should do then? And I think this is something that just, I don't know, it gives me so much power that every morning you have a new chance, actually. Exactly. You don't need mm -hmm. to live in a way that if I die tomorrow. Yeah that, you know, you, you could go crazy like this. We all die at some point. Yeah. That's but for sure. if you have this feeling that I can start actually every day again. Mm -hmm. So it's, it it's like so much power. And it's like uh, being a child again, because look at the child who is uh, like every day, if they wake up, those little ones, yeah. everything is exciting to them. Everything, whatever you do or whatever they do. So, yes. Yeah, and I uh, thank you very much for that. And I think that uh, it has brought me in this kind of state as well, that when I wake up in the morning and I feel that I, I don't want to go out of bed, mm -hmm. then I feel that something is wrong, mm -hmm. that I have to change something, that I have to want to wake up, that I'm so excited yeah. that, oh, I can go to write this thing or I can go to do this training or meet uh, some new, new faces. So 
then it, it mm -hmm. gives you more uh, uh, energy. It yeah. does. It does. It really makes a difference how you start your day. It's always. And you can start either you, the self-talk, the positive self-talk self is extremely important. If you wake up with negative thoughts, everything is, coffee is bad, your room is cold, <laughs> your partner sucks, your whatever, da, da, da. Then you're like, your, your, your whole day, what are you expecting? To be a, a beautiful? If you go to the office and you're like, good morning, everybody. Or you go to the class and you expect, how were the others? Oh, they were all not friendly. Well, yeah, what kind of energy do you give out? You know, yeah. it's very, very important. And you can take a charge. You can be the leader of your own life, you know. It, uh, you, you can also make around, turn around those people who are sometimes, you know, they come alone, to, do, do, do. you're like, hi, sunshine. Yeah. They're like, oh, talking to me, you know. It's very important. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Well, I have a question. How to realize that your idea of business is essential? How to realize people will love it? Because, uh -huh. you know, I have a bunch of crazy ideas. I all of a generate them, but I don't know how to understand if they're good. Okay. You mean like if the idea is good? Yes. How it's... have you realized that people will oh. love what you do? Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting question, uh, and maybe I'm not the right person to answer it because I had no uh, plan to start business, what I'm doing, but it threw out of the thing that mm -hmm. I started to carry in my, in my heart. But I think it's, you just have to go out there and mm -hmm. start testing mm -hmm. and start seeing uh, also not only to getting feedback from others, but also seeing yourself. Yeah. Are you putting your heart really into it that you really, you know, like gives you energy or it's something you think it maybe bring you money more? Yeah. And you start to understand it better. And sometimes they also say that go back to these times that when you were a child, what you loved to do when you were a child. Mm -hmm. But it may not be totally right. I think uh, we are in a changing and yeah. we also can see what world is needing. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, start testing your ideas. Mm -hmm. And you can test, you are young, you can test several ideas. And that's also that. Uh, I have to say I haven't failed with my businesses. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, but it's also because I'm maybe in a different field in a different way a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm not like a, maybe one day I say yeah it wasn't very good idea to mm -hmm. do this kind of notebooks. I, but even then I wouldn't think it's a failure. No. I was testing an idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. So we do hope to see you around testing your ideas, lady. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, back there. Yes. So you. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, what you can advise to find like peace, self-love, and confidence to be sure in my idea, and uh, yeah. Hmm. Motivation also. Mm yeah i think this uh, connects to this uh, mm -hmm. what you have this there as a last question that or some question that what i would su suggest yes. uh, to the to audience them. yes so i think the most important is uh, to know your own value mm -hmm. that actually no other's opinions can change your value even if this idea sucked even if this uh, uh, talk didn't went so well or this meeting but you are still yourself. Mm -hmm. You still have yourself and actually you still have the people who believe in you. So I think this knowing your value and your also your standards. This is what I'm mostly uh, sad about that when I was ill 10 yeah. years, yeah. that I kind of lost my value or standard. And, and maybe that's why I appreciate it uh, more and more now. Mm -hmm. And it's also like being, um, being humble and honest mm -hmm. uh, and... and um, it's this word, um, it's not looking up to others, but honoring others mm -hmm. as well. So that's, that's what, um, if you are good in your heart, mm -hmm. then uh, I think everything uh, falls in places finally that, that you still, and, and also some kind of practices you can uh, take to use some meditations, uh, this uh, the same saying to the mirror i'm enough uh, and um, 
it's not an easy to easy subject of course mm -hmm. for girls like between 16 mm -hmm. and 18 mm -hmm. uh, i know myself that you are can easily lose yourself and and i wouldn't sorry to say that but I wouldn't really, uh, want to be a teenager or a young at the moment when it's all this social media yeah. is coming. So I think it's also this to learn to separate yourself from this social media mm -hmm. stuff. And maybe it would be a good idea that you start with your idea and you start using your, the social media for your idea. Yeah. Not like so showing yourself all the time, but, but going out with your idea now and starting to test it. Then you can use social media but you don't have to compare yourself no. as, as a, as a person. girl or person mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. the time. So. And don't be discouraged by the first nay or no you get, or even by 10. Don't be discouraged. Never be discouraged. When, when I continue. did my first visual facilitation open training, mm -hmm. then uh, uh, there was one, two women came who paid for a training, Uh, two women came, my friends, to support me, mm -hmm. and one woman came from Facebook. Uh, uh, I, I did a Facebook game that mm -hmm. if you share it, then you win the prize yeah. to come to my training. Yeah. And, and I, of course, I paid more for this training that, than, mm -hmm. uh, than they gave me, but I didn't get discouraged uh, yeah. from it. So I just continued because I learned through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> We saw the hands back there, and the teacher over here. <coughs> Sorry, one more question, please. <coughs> When and how do you plan to own your first million? Yeah, thank you, because I think that money is also the subject we talk too less, and we should talk about it more. It's like I just le uh, read Harv Ecker's book, uh, Uh, millionaire's uh, mindset. Mindset, yeah. yes, I've read that. And, and uh, he, he said so well that you can, you can be sad and have problems and be poor, but you can also be sad and have problems and be rich. Yeah. So what, what do you use? <laughs> what do you choose? And um, I wrote down that uh, in 2026, I want to be a millionaire. So you have four years And to now go. I've said it out loud. Very here. good. Yay. Applause. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Don't. Yeah. That's. I love this question because it's also don't be shy to talk yeah. about money, to think about uh, money. Of course, in this kind of way, what we know that uh, that um, it, it doesn't start running your life, that everything you do is for money, mm. because actually it comes if you have this purpose in your heart. But you, you still need to, as an entrepreneur, yeah. you still need to think about it. Mm -hmm. And as a person, because where, where your food comes from or whatever. Mm -hmm. But think about it also as a changing value. Mm -hmm. Because every time you serve someone, mm -hmm. you, you bring out yourself, mm -hmm. so they give you back it. Like in old times, there wasn't money. Yep. But there was always like, I gave you my notebook, mm -hmm. you gave me your apple. I gave you this, you gave me that. Yes. Now it's just uh, money is also one thing that we gave. Mm -hmm. So when, when I started to think about this way, I started to change, but I'm still working on it. I just uh, read this Arv, Arv, Harv Ecker. Har Harv Ecker, Harv Ecker. Yes. I heard because he's one of the best if you want to read about the uh, mindset about money. Mm -hmm. And it was a really good book. I even ordered it now. I, yeah. I usually took it from library, the books mm. first. What's the name of the book? Harv Ecker, uh, Millionaire's Mindset. Mindset, yes. You will find it this way already by the Millionaire's Mindset. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the fa family name is uh, E E K E R. Yeah. Yeah. E K E R mm -hmm. is the Ecker. And regarding the same topic, uh, what, they, uh, what I've discovered, what adults uh, tend to do, Um, if you don't know your value, you don't, um, at first when you start with something, you don't ask anything. That's okay. You do it for free. Then you start, uh, then you, th because you're testing. Then you come out with a product or your service. Then you already charge your money. And then you can, I mean, there are uh, critical points where you cannot miss um, the time when you raise your, uh, the, the money that you ask for your service or your product. Because you can't miss it. Because otherwise, you know, you might have a very good service or excellent product, but you miss the point that, ooh, I should have already two years ago charged at least three times what I'm charging now. But you missed it. 
and already you are in the market as a like a market spoiler you would say mm -hmm. because you you know people although they get the value but when you don't won't, don't put the price tag on it then they're like oh maybe you know maybe he or she or or her her product uh, is maybe it's not so good because you know it's still so cheap and uh, it happens a lot with the uh, with the young uh, young people especially because they don't know when the and not only young but it depends um, uh, when you start your business when it's the switch time you know yeah you can do 100 bucks uh, I, I don't know something for a certain time but then there needs to come a switch and you are the one who makes that switch the the market is not going to tell you that kati could you please charge three times of your uh, yeah. seminars <laughs> yeah well kati needs to realize that now it's the time yeah mm -hmm. oh, we had some more questions uh, like I've already asked about it, uh, then what is your um, best moment when you came out of your comfort zone? And uh, yeah. I think I'm doing it a lot to coming out of from my com comfort zone. Like today morning, we had a very rainy and windy morning, but I went to run because mm -hmm. I just uh, uh, know, uh, I put my, in my week plan mm -hmm. that today I go to run. So uh, it was out of the comfort mm -hmm. zone. But the first time in a business, I think, um, of course, it was when I started to be a teacher of the second grade because I was very uh, afraid, actually. Mm -hmm. Then um, uh, when we lived in Tallinn with my boyfriend at that time, now my mm -hmm. husband, we moved from Tallinn. We just quitted our job and we came to live in countryside. Uh, in, uh, I live only 60 kilometers from Latvia. For you to know mm -hmm. and if i do my travel plans i first <laughs> watch look at the riga airport mm -hmm. the air baltic and and things uh, because it's uh, easier for us to go to riga yeah. but uh, uh, it was also going out the comfort zone mm -hmm. i knew i knew oh, i knew only my husband and uh, his mom here mm -hmm. and some relatives of course mm -hmm. and and the third time what i remember is that actually when i started as a freelancer trainer i started with um, let's say this kind of thing like art of hosting it's it's kind of a larger thing to to talk about but somehow like a participatory leadership and also i wanted to become uh, working with the stories like mm -hmm. a, like a story activist mm -hmm. not in a visual way but, but more like how you find your uh, marketing stories and these kind of things yeah. and when i did my website then uh, i already knew the visual facilitation uh, and i used it a lot as a youth worker, as a trainer, but I still felt like if I have no artistic background, I can't be teaching it, even if I so much felt like it, it was throwing toward yeah. it. And then my husband was doing the website and I said to my husband that maybe I should put it in the website, but if somebody orders what I do, uh -huh. and then my husband just said, just put it there and you don't know, maybe mm -hmm. no one's ordered, but... And today it's my, it's my all my business. Yeah. I don't do anything else than visual facilitation. Uh -huh. But this moment I was so afraid mm -hmm. that I put it there. But it was jumping, yeah, going out of the comfort zone. Like, uh, just mm -hmm. like one of uh, the women I really love to follow, Maria Forleo. Yes, I do. Do you know too. Maria Forleo? She has a She's book a named, to watch. Uh, yeah, she w wrote a book, uh, Everything is Figuratable. Mm -hmm. So I think it's also what I think that. I figure it out along the way. Mm -hmm. So I just shout it out and let's see. That is so true. And I love that book as well. And Maria Forello, Forello it's an amazing woman to follow. Uh, everything is figureoutable. Yeah. It is the funny sentence. And uh, the word comes from her mother who said that, ah, darling, everything is figureoutable. Yeah. <laughs> you yes. did like the Maria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But we had one more question over there. Yeah. Questions, uh, one of which is, what quality would you say is the most important to be an entrepreneur? Yeah, mm, it depends on person, of course, but I still could say that courage. Mm -hmm. That courage is uh, something that, um, that always helps. If you doubt, mm -hmm. choose courage. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay, and who are your biggest supporters along the way? Uh, uh, definitely my husband, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, not just that he's doing all my website stuff yeah. and all, all my uh, everything that I need like this way, but also encouraging me to, uh, to step out uh, mm -hmm. from my comfort zone as well and, 
and uh, I very much admire him uh, how he has this uh, uh, workforce. So. Where, well, he loves to work. He's very driven to work. Yeah, driven to work. And this is something that I should have sometimes more. Yeah. <laughs> Not to put the Netflix on, but really do the stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh, there's one more. And one more. Oh, and two more. Oh, four. <laughs> okay, we got it. Yes. Uh, I have a question. How personally committed uh, are you to your work? Very, very. As I used to say to all, in all my trainings, I say that. I eat it, I sleep it, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I wake up with it, uh, and, and yeah, everything. You know, every book I read, every even movie I watch, I, I try to connect it with my subject, that maybe I find something that I can connect and mm -hmm. use it mm -hmm. to, to, to promote or to develop my visual facilitation thing. Yeah. And uh, one more question. So in... Uh, which things you feel yourself strong uh, confidently? Teaching. Uh, I think one of my superpowers uh, is teaching, even if I fight, fight it against it a long, uh, a long time. Mm -hmm. or, or, um, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I, I want to say that also uh, public speaking, I still learn it actually to be better, but if I have to imagine to speak in front of 10,000 people, it doesn't scare me, it excites mm -hmm. me. I, I, actually, I'm taking part of one, one competition here mm -hmm. where the prize is to go in front of 10,000 people. So I hope to win. <laughs> we're, we're crossing fingers. We're crossing well, there fingers. are 300 participants from three, 39 countries. Still crossing fingers. Yeah, still crossing yes. fingers. <laughs> yes. Got it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And I'm really sorry, darlings. One question, because we're out of the time. Um, but you've been amazing. Otherwise, we wouldn't be, because you are uh, you're asking questions and you are really, really sharing the stories. Okay, yeah. you choose. Now make the choice. <laughs> so, hello. Uh, I want to ask you a question. Uh, is there something that happened in your life and you would like to change it? Maybe it is connected with your business? Uh. No, I'm, I'm usually not this kind of person who thinks that I would like to change some mm. things because today I'm in a very happy place and maybe there are things that wouldn't lead me here. Uh, even if I say I, I would like to change this bulimia time, mm -hmm. this 10 years in my life, I'd like to cut it out. But actually, there are things happened that lead me to meet my husband, to go to yep. live in countryside, to meet these people through who I was introduced to visual facilitation. So, no. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was this quote, who one woman said that if I could live my life again, mm -hmm. I would do the same mistakes only mm -hmm. maybe sooner. <laughs> yeah, correct. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank I want you. to say that your idea of business is very interesting for me mm -hmm. because my life is too connected, uh, is connected with drawing too. And th thank you so much. It is interesting that I don't see this idea before. Yeah. Thank you to hear it and uh, maybe it's a good time to say that I'm very sorry that I don't have my any anything in English yet in like a courses or mm -hmm. something. I can always come to Latvia. I've been in Latvia teaching in English. It, uh, as you saw, I have some materials in mm -hmm. English. Go and use them. Feel free. Read this book and uh, look at the mm -hmm. videos. Uh, the Estonian ladies here, I have this kind of challenge coming up. Uh, in the, uh, during the school break and you can come to take part. It's totally in uh, in virtual way, in Zoom. We meet five times. It's the first time mm -hmm. I'm doing something like this because my this year promise for myself is to become more visible and to, to come visible because I want to share my value more mm -hmm. wider. Mm -hmm. And this is my first attempt and you can come to support me with this and you can learn it uh, with me and I can these things I wrote here I really promise that that okay. they are from my heart mm -hmm. so you can go and check and this one is easy it's Katjorav my own name mm -hmm. Katjorav.ee mm -hmm. uh, the other uh, web page was creativity catcher mm -hmm. and this is also something that I'm working on 
to go on with my own brand like Katiora or to go on with this creativity catcher or maybe I don't need to separate or, or choose, maybe they can go along. Yep. But at the moment it, it can be a little bit confusing. <laughs> It's okay, out of the confusion comes clarity. Big round of applause.